What's, What's up, Flipsiders? Flip Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, we're gonna film a video using each other's makeup. But obviously we're very different colors and undertones, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah. 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 But it's not gonna be like just putting the other person's product on our face. We're gonna like try to make it work. Anyways, so yeah. Yeah. Let's uh let's jump right in. Let's do this. Let's do this, you and I. I wanna prime my face with this Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. I'm using the NYX Angel Veil primer. And my X. Whoa, this is thick. Prime. Ready to go. All right. Now I'm going to use her Becca Aqualuminous Perfecting Foundation. I'm going to use her Glossier. Glossier? No, it's Glossier. Glossier, Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint in Light. So I guess you're supposed to apply this with your fingers. Yeah. And normally I feel like I'd apply this with a beauty sponge, but I didn't bring one. So. Well, that works for me. It's not too, too light. Not too, too light. That's dark. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's real dark. I think it's even kind of dark on me. Oh. Oh. That's okay. It's too late. Just don't here. put too much on. And then... I know. I was like one pump, and then I was like, maybe I'll grab another little... No, why would I do that? And then, when your foundation's too dark, just blend it down your neck. <laughs> Pretend like you didn't know it was the wrong. And if you're wearing you like a tank top, just blend it, you know, over here and you know down, down and then, then you'll just be the same color. Start with your arms and <laughs> I think I'm gonna use this tart one. This kind of seems fun. Tart Aqua Concealer. I will warn you, that does have a weird smell. Also, you have to shake it. Woo, that smells like nail polish. Shake, shake, oh, shake, shake, shake it. Okay, so to try to brighten this, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral, which is still too dark for my skin, but maybe it'll make it look better. Which I really wish I had a beauty blender for this, but Sometimes you just don't have a beauty blender. You just have to make it work. You know? Do you know? I'm gonna Let's shut my under eyes with this Wouter. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. By Glossier. I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Yeah, that's just what it's called. Set. Contour. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna use this. Hula Quickie Contour Stick. I feel like it's easier to make your way back from a lighter foundation than it is from a darker foundation. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. 
It's not your fault in this way. So I'm sure you're all wondering why I made you gather to here today. It's to watch a makeup tutorial with terrible lighting, bad sound, and the wrong makeup. <laughs> Did anything go right? <laughs> is probably what you're wondering. Oops. See what I mean? Bad sound. Bad sound. Okay. That looks mediocre. Why couldn't the Mexican archer go shooting arrows? Why? Because he didn't have an arrow. <laughs> That's stupid. What's next? Um, well, Ooh, set I need the rest to, of the face. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I need to set the rest of my face. And in order to try to lighten this, I'm going to use the RCMA. That's how that works. You tap powder. This is a magic trick. Wow. Shall we blush? Yes. I'm gonna use this makeup D1. This Which I'm. Oh, sorry, go ahead. This is XOXO Gossip Girl. <laughs> just kidding, just the XOXO, not the Gossip Girl part. What about it? I was very surprised you picked it. It's very pink. Because it's the brightest blush that I have ever seen. So I definitely didn't think you would, but I put it out there anyway. Just in case. I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill Becca, what's this called? Champagne Collection Face Palette. I'm going to use Rose Rose Spritz, which is this one. It's a very glowy one. Very, very glittery. It's like a highlight too. Well, also very pigmented. I like glowy blushes though. I think they're really cute. They're just like I a... think I'm really cute. Hmm. <laughs> you are really cute. Thanks. You're welcome. So Anastasia, Anastasia, Brow Powder. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Taupe. I'm also going to use the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo, but in dark brown. Which is definitely the right shade for me. This just in, eyebrows. I just thought of that. Yes, it is funny. Summer. From the Anastasia Glow Kit. Sun dipped. They have so many of those now. It's kind of crazy. Um, wow. Was more than I meant. The Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlight. I'm gonna prime my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadow so that it may look good. I'm gonna set my lids with the color, this one, Flower Child. And I'm using the, oh, we're both using Tarte palettes. This is the Tartist Pro palette. Tartist. Tartist. And I'm going to use the shade. For a while, I thought it was Tartiest. <laughs> Classic. Tart. Tartist. So I'm using the Tartlet in Bloom palette. And I'm going to use the color Smarty Pants. I think my favorite thing about Tarte products, but especially their eyeshadow palettes, is how they smell. Because they all smell like vanilla and baking. And it's amazing. I love it so much.
Now I'm going to go in with Rebel. I'm going to take the shade Whimsy. I'm going to take leader. I'm going to go with even darker color. Lightest, darkest. So I'm kind of keeping that in my crease, and then I change my mind about the kind of look I want to do, so I'm putting it all over my lid. Okay, then I'm going to take the shade Edgy, which is a nice little chocolatey brown. Now I'm going to repeat steps one through four under my lash line. So I start with a bigger brush, smaller brush, smaller brush, the lightest color to the darkest to the darkest color. Like a little flat definer brush. So I can get right up against that lower lash line. Now I'm going to use a shade. Funny girl, because I'm a funny girl. I'm sure no one's ever made that joke about this eyeshadow before. I'm sure they haven't. I'm going to pop the same highlighter that I have on the rest of my face on the inner corner. I'm going to take ether. E I don't know how to say that. Hmm? E ethereal? Oh, thank you. Ethereal. I'm going to put that in the center of my face. I'm going to use this Wander Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara that I got in my box of charm. Okay, I'm going to use my Tardist mascara to go with the Tardist. My Tardiest. This is the Tardiest look. That is way redder than I thought it was. Mistakes have been made. It's fine. We're going to work it out. That is what this video is about. Making it work. So that was the e.l.f. matte lip color. I'm going to try to pink it up a little bit. I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs Gloss in Enamored. Is that what it's called? Are you sure? I could have swore it's called French Tickler. Oh, French Tickler. Oh, I was right. like, I'm pretty sure it's called French Tickler. Anyway. Okay. I think I made this work to a decent extent. Like, it looks okay. It doesn't look like I chose a foundation shade that's like four shades too dark anymore. Looks okay. It just looks like I bronzed a lot. I don't think it looks that bad. No. But this looks <sighs> fine on me. So anyways, these are the finished looks. 
My face with her makeup. And my face with her makeup. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Anyways, so yeah. Um, hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you do, give it a thumbs up. And, uh, and hit that subscribe button. If you're into that. Or do it anyway, because we're adorable. Is that working? Anyways, yeah, so uh, I'll catch on the flip side.